was just a disaster. Oh, no. The Cavs are poised to win their fourth straight game and sweep this four-game homestand. Crowd here inside Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse had a lot to cheer about as... Well, I'm not sure if they thought that he called the timeout or whether he put the ball down. They called it out of bounds. And I understand what, how I was watching the whole thing. Not to let those guys get in the game. The official said he put it out of bounds. So therefore called the turnover. And a clean pick of Bogdanovich. Smart off the window for Tatum. They tried to go for the spectacular highlight. And they're going to end up instead with the Pistons. All right, here we go. Marcus Smart. I mean, it's a great pass. Tatum just goes up with one hand. He wants to bring it the house down. This third quarter. KD and Kyrie have combined to shoot 71%. The rest of the team has shot 33% and a turnover. And Durant's very upset. The Magic trapped him. Eight second count. Well, he's got to be more aggressive there. Lakers 99. Clippers trying to get the seven and five. Jackson again. Scores again. Careless turnover by the Lakers, taking it out of bounds. This is careless basketball. Jackson scores, Davis takes it out of bounds, and just throws it ahead. And Norman, Norman Powell. Oh, oh no! Oh. Put the rose in and out of bounds. Oh, no. That is not what you wanted in after a timeout. Down by two, here come the Warriors. It's Curry. A three for the lead. Travel. Travel on Stephen Curry. Travel. And a turnover by the Warriors. Oh, we've seen a lot of travels tonight. Okay, left foot is your pivot foot. Yep. That's a good call. It, it is indeed. And Middleton right there elongating to the basket. And it looked like Durant, frustration, turned the ball over, inbounding the ball. All right, here's another one. I mentioned the numbers for this group of five for the Nets, and it's a small sample size, but it's the Clippers turn it over. John Wall traveled. Um, yeah, he traveled. And a travel call on Russell Westbrook. I didn't even see that in the backcourt. A little too much. He's already in rhythm. Well, he averages four points a game, and he has 11 here in the first quarter. And Steph just stepped into the backcourt. Now Kiki single-handedly brought him back. Oh. Steph is just kind of directing traffic and then accidentally steps a little too far backwards. He's got it now. Steph still holding. Holding. There is no shot clock. Still holding. Still holding. Down to two. What are the Kings doing? <laughs> what are the Kings doing? There's 1.3 left. It's like they forgot that the I mean, shot clock was off. <laughs> it's just Steph is privy to the fact that he doesn't need to pass the ball. And Steph knew. They committed that first foul. His shot clock went away. One point game, half a minute to play. Lakers and Russ into the front court. Russell pull up. Oh. No, Russ, no, he missed it. Taken now by Portland. This is now their biggest lead of the ball game. Gobert, first three of his career. No. It's probably not the shot you want. Yeah. They've come back here now swinging this small lineup. With Nate Knight. Lee, corner three, off the mark. Another offensive rebound for the Suns. Craig steps into a three and drilled it. Matherin. Wide open, set three. Won't go for Nimard, and it looked like Watanabe put that back in his own hoop. It looked like he was trying to grab it out. Oh man, that was like you don't not that, a little tip. He no, like guided no, he could, it up and it in there. It looked like he was about to dunk it. Yeah. Clock at five. Max 
see shot clock about to expire. Tips it out. Morris the first to it. Kyle Kuzma. Yes, not going well for the bad guys. And turns into some sixer points on the other end. Well, and he got an earful from his coach as well, did Kuzma, because that's a four-point swing. The two they didn't get, and then the two the Sixers achieved. He dribbled the ball, the clock runs, and it forces Denver to come up the floor. That's got to be something. What is going on right here? Clock run. Look at Gordon. Wiggins knocked it away. Gordon hit one three. We saw him make uh, five. Discontinued. Another discontinued dribble. That's wild. How many three is that? in one game? That's crazy. And for Jordan, it's obviously on the emphasis. He's got to stop this. But these are not bad calls. You see, the ball comes to rest right here. Yeah, right. there was a pause. Only 10 points off of turnovers against the Clippers. It's down by seven. And now an inbound violation. Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. That's a shot. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That might take a did here. And high 39 for James here tonight. The hesitation, the drive. Pass deflected out to Westbrook. Westbrook drives, tried to jam it, he missed it. Rebound Harden. They have to foul. That was the foul to give. LeBron James felt like, which he was, wide open in that corner, but you can't blame Westbrook. By the way, that was not, they're in the penalty, not a foul to give. Westbrook had a good chance. Back his way in. Spins on Gallinari. Gives it up. Oh, he was right there. And a foul as Thibel goes to the basket. Boy, Simmons, uncontested, had a layup, but he leaves it for Thibel. Well, but that's when you know that the game is in your head. That's a oh, dunk for man. Ben Simmons right there. You got to. And I know you got to. Offensive rebound. Chandler to Bargnani. What is he doing? What is he doing, folks? Why would he shoot the ball? Why? And with that shot, the Knicks are going to need one more defensive stop. Clyde, they basically had it set up for free throws and a chance to ice the game. <laughs> and Bargnani, for reasons only known to him, took the three. See what Utah gets here. Ten seconds left. No timeouts. Don't have a timeout. Mitchell doesn't have a timeout. Now that's going to be a technical foul then. Yeah, he hasn't hit a three the whole night, but he's going to the rim. Here he goes over to Carmelo to win the game. We're going to overtime. Wow, why didn't LeBron take the layup? Looked like he might have had a reverse layup. Five minutes. Wow. Well, the fans are getting their money's worth to see who prevails when we. But there's no challenges on those plays inside two minutes. So, oh, he just violated. LeBron, LeBron James just violated the end line. Yeah. You know, he can't believe it. He's like, I where he's traveled, not really thinking, and, and watch here, just not thinking. What is he doing? Yes, it happens to everybody. Oh, he actually dribbled an right. inbound. Defense and Harold couldn't get the shot up. This is the Clippers' biggest lead of the game. Oh On my the wing, goodness. George, and nobody home in the corner. <laughs> no. Nope. Well, there was someone there, but it was the official. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now he's with the oh. 76ers. They're going to have some fun with PG. I don't know what the. the I'm the Kumo. Oh, man. How do you smell inside? This is the second time this has happened. Watch there at the top of your screen over here. Same for Jason Terry. Three. Make that 25 and three and counting. LeBron James missing at the line. He scored in double figures 352 consecutive games. And the Timberwolves just sleeping.